and welcome to a whole new adventure with a comic book haul. Okay, this is going to be the first week of September. Um, I think last week I wasn't able to actually get this done. So, this is the haul from the first week of September. So I think the bulk of it will be from... Forbidden Planet. So this is from Forbidden Planet. This is from Gosh Comics. Um, so from Forbidden Planet, I got Marvel Age number a thousand. Um, not sure how many pages this is, this is, but it looks like it's like that's the front cover. Um, it's number a thousand, and it features quite a few. A few um, um, artists on the back. So I guess it's just a mix of like short stories, I guess. Um, I have got like the Marvel Age, um, the older issues, um, mainly that the ones that features She Hulk, and um, yeah. I am very excited to see what number 1000 offers. Um, it is very such a, it's actually a very exciting cover. Um, you have like Jean and Cyclops and the, in the front and centre, you have like Spider-Man, Daredevil, oh you got pretty much the original X-Men in the original um, uniform, Silver Surfer, oh who's this? Oh uh, is that Captain Marvel? Um, the original Captain Marvel, is it? Not quite sure, but I think that's the original Captain Marvel. And then you have like Thor, uh, a human torch in the middle. I'm guessing that could be. Is that the original human torch? Um, but yes, there we go. And number ult Ultimate Invasion, number three. Um, pretty much excited to see what number three brings. It's such a very exciting read. Um, it's written by Jonathan Hickman as well, um, who I love at the moment. Um, but yeah, very exciting read. This one's a continuing um, issue that I'm going with. And, oh, Paul Dano's um, The Riddler, year one. This is number book six. So that's the front cover. I got the like this this was the um cover A. Um but yes, that's cover A. And it's got pretty much got a cool back cover as well. I like the um art style on the back as well. Like very simple, very dark. Um but yeah, very cool back and front. Giant size X Men number one. Um, remember re reading this as a child actually. Um, child, yeah, in my teens, teens. Um, I used to get these like mini pocket books, and it contained like all these. It had contained this actually, and um, yeah, they're very exciting, delvable, and you can just stick the, the pocket books. You can actually stick in, in your bag and just carry around. Um, it's pretty handy. I don't think they do the pocket books anymore. Um, I think they must have stopped doing them like a few years back. But I love the pocket books. They're very collectible. Um, maybe I could show. You. Oh yeah, it's like this basically. The pocket book. Uh, I tried to grab one. So yeah, the pocket books are like this. Um, and this one I didn't even take the sticker off. Um, but yeah, they're very cute, very collectible, and they look they look very pretty um, along the shelf as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is one of the X Men titles. Um, this one collects. What does it actually say on the back? Uh, what does it collect? This one collects. Contains material from. The magazine form as X Men: The Hidden Years, number fourteen to twenty-two. First printing twenty twelve. So this was 
this printing was in 2012. Like, almost like 11, 11 years ago. Yeah, I, yeah, it would be a shame if they have ended this because I actually really love, like, just collecting these. Um, but yeah, this is like the facsimile edition. Um, so it's got the like original, original um, ads and whatnot. Um, so it's pretty cool. Because I think when I was reading, reading the um, pocket books, it doesn't actually print the ads. Um, but it's actually very exciting to see all these ads, ads um, that were there before. That's why I like collecting comics as well, because you just get to see the ads as well, which is pretty cool. And next one is Batman Catwoman with Gotham War Battle Lines. So there we go. Oh, I've got Catwoman on front and got Batman in the back. Catwoman uncovered. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Catwoman recently. She's also featured in the the um, recent Penguin title. I think is it a recent Penguin title? Uh, just the title recently with her and Penguin. Um, but yes, there we go. There she is. I love the cover as well. Oh, she's just like falling with grace and just have her like the whip, whip all around her. And um, next one is Miss Marvel, the New Mutant. Um, not a retcon, but um, just a character redevelopment. Um, it's written by Iman Vellani as well, who plays Miss Marvel from the uh, Disney Plus series. Um, but yes, this is very exciting. Um, very excited because she is such a huge, huge, huge Marvel fan. So it'd be exciting to see her delve into this world of Ms. Marvel and see how she does the character. And also, since she's also playing the character as well. Next one is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number, oh, um, number one, but this is like the 30th anniversary special. Um, I got the variant edition of this actually. Um, because it features like the the original photo as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I pretty much like this um, cover. And there was this isn't the main cover. This is like variant cover as well. Um, I might buy the other two that I saw, but I don't know. I've not. I've read like a couple of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I did actually watch the recent Power Rangers Once and Always on Netflix. Um, I thought it was alright. Um, could have been better, to be honest. Um, the the um, the special effects wasn't quite there for me, but and the story was alright. But yeah, excited to delve into the comic books. Next one is Gnaut's Swimsuit Edition. So this one is I think just like the uh, just basically a cover book of all the covers and whatnot. Oh, and actually, actually there is a story here. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, so it's got like the Swimsuit edi Editions covers inside and there's like a story at the back so that's pretty cool it's like a best of both worlds um, when it comes to comes to it so yeah that's pretty exciting um the schlub number one oh i got this i actually got this from gosh comics as well um i saw this in the like the recent back issues, um, it looks pretty interesting. I love the art style, and um, it looks kind of quirk got a quirky and funness to it. I would say, um, yeah, excited to see what this offers. Always exciting to actually try something new, and if I like it, I continue with it. It looks like a title I would continue with, so it looks pretty fun inside. And the next.
next one is Marvel Marvel Previews. So this is like I saw She-Hulk in front. I had to like immediately grab it. Um, so it's like future and upcoming issues. Um, I like looking through as well. I just look at covers. Um, I do judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I'm that type of person. Um, and the next one, I saw this at Gosh Comics as well, and it's like like mini prints. Uh, I saw Venom at the front, and I did like when I was in the shop. I had to like do a bit of research into this and see what it was. So it's like T plus G Hildebrandt. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Um, but yes, this. Oh, let me just open up and get the prints out. So there's like, is it like ten prints inside? Um, I don't know who's in this actually. I know. Venom and Captain America is because I can see them on the front and the back. Um, so you have Venom. It looks pretty cool. I love the prints. And it's got barcodes on the back as well. So I'm guessing that. Were they sold separately? There's like a barcode in the back as well. Rogue. Um, Psylocke. Wait, where is there names on these? Oh, there is. So on bottom, bottom, what's it? Bottom right, there's like a um, the name Mars Prince and then the Psylocke. I guess these were like printed on like the Master Print cards. I think they were called. But yeah, Psylocke, Silver Surfer, um, Human Torch. Um, ooh, this one's a blank one. Uh, that's just like the um, the backing board for the comics. Um, Wolverine. Love the art styles in these actually. Glad I actually got this. Uh, War Machine. The Thing. And um, Gambit. I love the colours in this one. And um, Captain America. So that's pretty much for the prints. Um, ten and all. I wonder if there were more. Um, but yeah. Glad to have spotted this. Uh, this was actually on the, the wall. Um, usually when I come into to the lower ground of Gosh Comics, um, there's like the comic book section. And then you have like the wall or comics, like the high price ones will be up, like on, on top shelves. And and then you have like graphic novels there, and the comics, the wall comics of the new and recent graphic issues. And then you got the manga on the side. But yes, I'm glad to have got these. So that is it for the first week of September. And I shall see you on the next one.